Let us read John 15, 9 to 17. It says, As the Father has loved me. Okay, si Jesus to, no, na nagsasalita. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servants does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you his friends. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father, ask the Father in my name, He may give it to you. These things I command you so that you will love one another. This was the time when, when Jesus and His disciples had just concluded meeting in the upper room in Jerusalem. They were in the upper room, they were talking, and then after that, they celebrated the Passover. Having this kind of meeting in the upper room, Last Supper. <laughs> Ito na. Sama-sama sila. So ang saya, with my sanctified imagination, they were talking about the three years of Jesus' ministry. The miracles. When it comes to healing the sick people, when, when it comes to the provision, and when it comes to revealing who God is through the Son, the, who, the, who the Father is through the Son, so they were all excited. Now here comes the news. They will go down and they will go back. They were inside Jerusalem and they will go through the east gate of Jerusalem and they will go down to the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was talking about him going to be betrayed and he will die. Oh no. Now try to put yourself in the shoes of these disciples. Among you, you hear you're going to be scared. Diba? Parang, Lord, tatlong taon tayong magkasama. Tatlong taon tong nakita yung kapangyarihan nyo. Now you're telling us you're going to die. And then after that, what will happen to us? Now, how many you experienced the same thing in your life before? You've seen the miracles and the goodness and the blessings of God in your life. So, bantawan-tawa ka talaga. Nakita mo kung paano mag-provide si Lord. Nakita mo kung paano mag magbigay ng miracles si Lord. Talagang literally miracle, di ba? Talagang provision, promotion, lahat the blessings. All these blessings were just overflowing in your life. And then all of a sudden, here comes pandemic. You don't know what to do. It seems like, wala na si Lord. Nasaan na si Lord? Nasaan ka na? And then you, be, you, you started to check your relationship with the Lord. Kamusta na ba yung relasyon ko kay Lord? Ano na ba? Okay pa ba? And then Jesus spoke to instruct, not only instruct, but spoke to calm and strengthen them so that they will be prepared for what would follow in the next 24 hours. Okay, kinalman ni Lord yung, yung mga disciples. In, in 24 hours, may magkakanulo sa akin, mahuhuli ako, I will be beaten by the guards black and blue, I will be uh, crucified. But, but here's what happened, okay? He was telling about this thing. But here's what he said in verse 5. For apart from me, you can do nothing. What? Di ba? Baka, ano na naman to? Di ba? Aalis ka nga eh. Di ba? Since dito, parang ironic yung pagkakasabi ni Lord. 
Sabi mo, baka <laughs> okay. Naaalis ka ngayon. Now, you're, you're telling us, where apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Okay? Apart from me, you can do nothing. So, pag wala ka na, naubusan ka, na, naubos na ako sa'yo, wala na ako sa'yo, uh, you can do nothing. Now, surprisingly, many Christians today are, are like that. They're saying that they are connected and yet isolated. You know that? You know, that's what the uh, online is t- telling us and, and teaching us. Diba yung mga Zoom meetings natin? Diba? You're connected. You're talking to someone, visual, but you're still isolated. Diba? Hindi pa rin kayo magkasama. Now, could it be that we can have the same experience with the Lord? We're telling that, Oh Lord, I'm connected to you. I'm worshiping you, Lord God. Every Sunday, 9, 11, 2, and 4. We're connected. We're, we're thinking that we are connected. We have a relationship with the Lord. But if you are going to ask yourself, seriously, sincerely, you, the only one, can tell God what is really going on in your life. One more year, you can say, Lord, sorry, Lord, I'm I'm isolated. Nag-worship ako, pero Lord, ang layo ng puso ko sa'yo. Nagbabasa ako ng Bible, Lord, pero iniisip ko na may gagawin ko. Nagpipray ako, kaya lang, Lord, sorry ah. Pangalawang sentence pa lang, natulog na ako eh. Pasensya na ah. Pero sabi mo naman, di ba, we rest in your presence. <laughs> di ba, gano'n, di ba? Okay pa rin. God said, Jesus said, apart from me, there is no life. He was talking about, uh, he was using this analogy of this relationship of a vine to its branches. The vine and the branches in chapter 15. That the branch cannot produce its own life. It must draw that life from the vine. Wala siyang buhay. Unless makadikit siya dun sa vine, sa puno. At kumuha ng buhay dun sa puno. Then and only then that branches will produce fruits. We want to be connected and not isolated. Hindi tayo mga taga-Simbabwe. Alam niyo yung mga taga-Simbabwe? Alam niyo ba yung mga taga-Simbabwe? Yung mga taga-Simbabwe? Yung mga Simbabwe? Simbabwe. Yung iba hindi natawa eh. Yung Simbabwe. Simbabwe. Now, question, why does our relationship with God matters? Bakit ba importante itong relasyon na ito kay Lord? Bakit ba? Ano ba ito? Feeling lang ba ito? Ano ba ito? Adrenaline lang ba ito? Ano ba ito? Hyper lang ba ako? Ah, masaya lang ba ako na nasa church ako? Why should I go to church, worship the Lord, read the Bible, listen to the preacher, okay? Laugh if there is a joke. Pag corny, na ako. Ano, ano ba? Di ba? Paano ba? Ano ba? Why does my relationship with God matters. Now, let me share this to you. Number one, joy is found fully in God alone, not in our circumstances. The Bible says in John 59, 17, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be full. Okay? Sino ba dito minsan masaya, minsan hindi? Tapos ang kamay. Minsan masaya, minsan hindi. Okay? Minsan tumatawa, minsan umiiyak. Okay, ah, parang ayos sumagot. Ah. Sino dito sabay na tumatawa at umiiyak? <laughs> okay, medyo mahirap yan, di ba? May, medyo may problema tayo dyan. Kapag sabay mong ginagawa yan. Alam niyo, may mga taong minsan masaya, minsan malungkot. Sino dito long weekend, ready nang magbakasyon bukas? Nasaan kamay? Ready na. Yung iba, Friday pa lang. Nako, grabe. Friday pa lang. Talagang ready, ready na. Sino dito, kapag tapos mo magbakasyon, parang gusto mo magbakasyon ulit kasi napagod ka. Yung parang bakasyon ulit, tapos pagdating mo sa bahay, bakasyon ulit. Baka pwede, bakasyon ulit. But napagod ako sa bakasyon eh. Talaga naman, di ba? Napagod ka ulit. Sino sa inyo dito, you, you went to a place, it was serene, quiet, okay? And somehow, you put yourself into solitude and then all of a sudden, napakatahimik ng lugar. 
may mga konti-konting mga huni ng ibon, nakaramdaman mo yung tama ng malamig na hangin sa yung mga kamay. Pero ang dami mong iniisip, may ganun ba? Nasa probinsya ka, pero nasa opisina mo yung utak mo. Sino sa inyo dito hindi ka pa rin masaya? ba? Diba? Yung mga tao, nagsasa, nagsasayahan na. Yung mga relax na relax na ikaw, hindi pa rin kasi malayo yung isip mo at kaluluwa mo doon sa lugar na pinaglagyan mo. Parang ganito lang yan. Sino ang gusto ng iPhone 14 right now? Sino ang gusto ng iPhone 14? Pastor Bong, pakilabas. Sino ang gusto ng iPhone 14? Tapos ang kamay? Tagal nyo eh. Ilang beses ko tinanong. Pag, pag tinanong na isa, isang beses, ibibigyan na agad. Sino ang gusto ng iPhone 14? Pero walang battery. As in, walang charger. <laughs> okay, sino dito? Okay, di ba? Pag binigyan ka ng iPhone 14, nakabox pa talaga. Talagang selyado. Pag bukas mo, Walang battery, as in, walang battery sa loob at walang charger. Nang sino sa inyo, medyo kalahati lang yung saya mo. Sino dito, ibabato mo sa nagbigay sa iyo yung... Makompleto mo lang, di ba? Yung inis mo, di ba? Now, the joy that Jesus was talking was this. If you are disconnected to me, if you don't have relationship with me, your joy, is not complete. It's not full. Maybe you're working. You have a good job. You have a high-paying salary. Your life is going well. It's like a walk in the park. The Lord is telling you, without me, that joy is not complete. It's like having an iPhone 14 without a battery. Tama ba? That's why Jesus said, My joy, my joy, me, my joy may be in you, that your joy may be full. Hindi kumpleto ang ligaya sa buhay kung wala siya. Hindi kumpleto ang saya, ang ligaya sa pag-aaral kung wala si Lord. Hindi kumpleto ang saya at ligaya sa isang relationship kung wala si Lord. It's only momentarily. No, you cannot lean on that. You cannot put your trust on that. Masaya ka na sinagot ka ng nililigawan mo. Ngayon lang yan. Mag-aaway din kayo. Tama ba? Masaya ka na nakakakasal mo lang, brother and sister. Kaya tayo may tinatawag na honeymoon period. Kasi pag period na, deads na yan. Wala na. Wala na honey-honeymoon period. Tapos na ang ligaya at saya. But the Bible says, Jesus Himself was saying, If my joy is in you, your joy will be full. Okay yung joy na yan, pero hindi kumpleto yan kung wala ako. Joy is found fully in God alone, not in our circumstances. God's love, another thing is God's love is in direct proportion to our love with each other. Kapag maganda yung relationship natin kay Lord, maganda yung relationship natin sa mga tao, hirap na hirap tayong patawarin ang mga tao na gumawa ng kasalanan sa atin. Hirap na hirap tayong mahalin natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin. Tama ba sino dito? Hirap na hirap ka. Tapos ang kamay. Parang ako lang ah. Ako di ba? Nahihirapan tayo. Pero anong sabi ni Lord? Ganito lang yan. In John 15, 12, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Diba? Kinakanta pa natin yan mula pa ng bata yan. This is my commandment, that you love one another. Diba? Yeah! <laughs> this is my commandment, that you love one another. Come on, sayawin mo nga ano. Sayawin mo yan. This is my commandment that you love one another. Yo, oy, tama naman talaga. Ayan lang saya, di ba? <laughs> may may kasabihan tayo that you cannot give what you do not have. You cannot give what you do not have. If you're having a hard time to love someone, it means that 
your love in your life is depleted. Right. It's depleted. Now, the question is, saan ka kukuha ng pwede mong ibigay? Now, when we talk about God's love is in direct proportion to our love with each other, it's like this. If I'm going to pour this water on this glass, tignan po natin, ano, maganda po to, Sir, ma'am, kung titignan po natin, the same level, look at this, look at this, okay? Walang kukurap, walang, nai, huwag kang kukurap, nai, okay? <laughs> Sabi niya, Pastor, naluluha na ako, di ba ako kumukurap? Now, look at this, this is in direct proportion to the love that you have from the Lord. Look at this, walang kukurap, tignan, tignan niyo ha, oh. nakita niyo ba? Two quantities are said to be in direct proportion if they increase or decrease in the same ratio. Same ratio. Kung ano yung meron dito, yun lang din yung ibibigay mo. Kung ano yung natanggap mong pag-ibig kay Lord, yun din lang yung pag-ibig na ibibigay mo kanino? Sa tao. So kung wala kang nadadama na pag-ibig kay Lord, kung wala kang relasyon kay Lord, kung wala kang nakukuha kay Lord, as in wala kang makuha, Ewan ko kung bakit ka walang makuha. Wala ka talagang maibibigay. But if God poured out, you know that God's love was poured upon you, you can easily give it to your wife, to your children, to your friends, to your loved ones, even to your enemies. God's love is in direct proportion to our love with each other. Third is this, God is relational, not transactional. John 15, 15, it says, No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Alam ko, marami tayong mga acquaintances, tama ba? Dito lang sa church. Di ba marami kayong mga kilala, tama ba? Pero hindi lahat ng kilala natin ay kaibigan natin. Tama ba? But if you're going to define, ano mga klaseng relationship to? No, no. It's just like an acquaintance. It's not friendship, to be honest with you. But when we talk about friends, ang ibig sabihin dito sa friends na sinasabi dito, sa binasa natin, it's an inner circle kind of friend. It's like a king with his team on the round table. Parang ganun yun. It's like friends of the king. It's like the best man at a wedding. Now, alam niyo yung mga ganun, yung mga king ka, presidente ka, kasama mo yung mga cabinet member mo, kaibigan mo sila, but at the end of the day, you're still the what? The president. You're still the king. In other words, they are also subject to what you're going to tell them or what they need to do. So that's the friendship na gustong sabihin ng ating Panginoon. Magkaibigan tayo, pero Diyos mo pa rin ako. So yung iba sa inyo dito, no, nagtataka, anong ginagawa ng upuan na yan? Kanina pa yung upuan na yan. Eh. ba? <laughs> sa inyo dito, parang gusto nyo nang tanggalin to kanina, tas ang kamay, meron ba? Now, for some of you, maybe the, the, the instinct is you don't want to sit on this chair. Why? Because number one, you don't want to put into spotlight. Right? Number two, you don't want to be disconnected to the person seated next to you. Now, who among you here, when it comes to our Christian walk, when it comes to our relationship with the Lord, we always put ourselves into spotlight. Ikaw lang lagi. Sarili mo lang lagi ang nakikita mo. It's like you are the sun in the solar system that everything revolves around you. How many of we, paminsan ganun yung relationship natin kay Lord? It's all about us. We always want to put the, the spotlight on you. And oftentimes, you're disconnected to Him. Connected every Sunday, but disconnected on Monday to Friday. Disconnected not only to him, but also disconnected to what? Disconnected to his people. But I want you to understand that what God is telling us is this. 
when we talk about God is relational, can I have one chair? Relational and not transactional. Marner to sit beside me. Now this is the relationship that God has. Basta ka bro, ayos naman yung pagpapalaki ng anak mo. Ayaw mo mandagdagan? Yeah, next year na. Pag-ministry, ayos lang naman yung ministry. Eh. Oh. Oh. Eh, kailangan ka ba? Hindi, yeah. ah. yeah, ubos mo. Ito. <laughs> Baka, ano tayo, lead tayo. Sino sa inyo dito naniniwala na ganito ang relasyon na meron tayo kay Lord? Not transactional. Not coming to God because you need something. Hindi tayo lumalapit kay Lord kasi hirap na hirap tayo. God is not our boss. Na ipoprovide niya yung pangangailangan natin. God is not a banker na pwede tayo mag-withdraw anytime. He's not ATM machine. He is a person. He wanted relationship. God is relational, not transactional. Okay, palapakan natin si Marner. Nung mga nakarang araw po, no, niyaya ako ng in loco to go to Tagaytay with my family. So he was the one driving the car. We went to Tagaytay. When we are, when we are going back to Manila, it happened that ako po eh, na- nakatulog ako. All of a sudden, while sleeping, Kinano niya ako, ginising niya ako. Sabi niya, to, 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 ano, kaliwa kanan. Siyempre, sino dito, pag naalimpong atan ka, magug- magugulo yung ano mo, di- orientation mo, di ba? Pa- ha, nasan ako, di ba? Talagang, kaliwa kanan. Sabi ko, anong kaliwa kanan? Kaliwa, bako, kaliwa, karmona. Sabi niya, anong kaliwa? Kanan, karmona. <laughs> so, kanan kami, pagdating na ang kanan, pakitingin nga yung waist, pagtingin namin sa waist, ako, isang oras na naman yung biyahe. Sabi ko, ba't mo naman ako tinatanong, kuya? Sabi niya, basta diretso tayo. Hindi, eto, mayroong kalaks. Diretso ka lang, kalaks. Diretso kami ng kalaks. Pagdating namin doon sa ka, wala nang tul, wala nang road. Puti ka na, ayun pala, tulay na ginagawang kalaks. <laughs> Talaga. <laughs> so, balik ulit kami, no? Pagbalik nun, hindi na ako nakatulog. And then, we just enjoy what happened. Now, here's the point. God invites each one of us to travel with Him along life's highway. And not only that, He has a divine roadmap to prepare you for this kind of journey. God called you, just like my brother-in-law, not only to a relationship with Him to go to Tagaytay, but He was calling us to be with Him, with my family at the same time. The calling that God is calling us right now is this, a calling of having this kind of relationship with Him. Relationship with God is a call to me, but a journey of we. Going back to the upper room. Going back to the upper room. Jesus was telling them, okay, I'm going to leave this world. I'm going to die. But He said, Again, apart from me, you can do nothing. In other words, hindi maintindihan ng mga disciples. Apart from me, you can do nothing. In other words, yes, I am going to leave, but I'm going to stay with you. Don't you know that I am the almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing God? That yes, yung body ko wala sa inyo, but I can be with you. And another thing is this. You have this. Look around you. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. We have this. We have this spiritual family. We have the church. Amen? So if you're talking about Christianity, Christianity is not just going to church alone, having your personal relationship with the Lord, and go out, go home. No. Relationship is a call not just to you and me, but it is a journey of we. Amen.